Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Manhur and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we will explore the various types of groups and access rights in Microsoft Entra ID. A Microsoft Entra group helps organize users which makes it easier to manage permissions. Using groups, we can assign a set of access permissions to all the group members instead of having to provide the rights one by one. Groups allow us to define a security boundary, then add and remove specific users to grant or deny access with a minimum amount of effort. Microsoft Entra ID Free Subscription allows you to define two different types of groups, security groups and Microsoft 365 groups. Security groups are the most widely used, serving to control access to shared resources for a group of users and computers. For example, you can create a security group for a specific security policy. By doing it this way, you can give a set of permissions to all the members at a once instead of having to add permissions to each member individually. To create a security group, you need to have Microsoft Entra administrative privileges. Microsoft 365 groups provide collaboration opportunities by giving members access to a shared mailbox, calendar, files, SharePoint site, and more. This option also lets you give people outside of your organization access to the group. Members of a Microsoft 365 group can only include users. Owners of a Microsoft 365 group can include users and service principals. Both users and admins can create Microsoft 365 groups within Microsoft Entra ID. Now, let's talk about group membership types. Under membership type field, you will see three options. If you select assigned membership type, that means you can add members in a group manually. You can search for the user and then add them to a group. There will be second group membership, which is dynamic membership. Keep in mind that dynamic group membership type is not available with Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. If you select dynamic user membership type, you need to create a dynamic query to add users. Dynamic query gives you a flexibility to add members with the help of conditions. You can create rules based on characteristics of user account properties to enable attribute based dynamic membership for the group. For example, if a user's department is sales, that user will be dynamically assigned to the sales group. If the user's department change in the future, they are automatically removed from the group. This feature requires a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license. Similar to dynamic user, if you select dynamic device field, you need to create a dynamic query to add devices in the group. For example, if a user's device is associated with the HR department, that device will be dynamically assigned to the HR devices group. This feature also requires a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license. After creating a Microsoft Entra group, you need to decide how to assign access rights. Each application, resource and service that requires access permissions need to be managed separately because the permissions for one might not be the same as another. Apply the principle of least privilege when granting access to minimize the risk of attacks or security breaches. There are total four ways to assign access rights in Microsoft Entra ID. You have to select the ways to assign access rights to determine the best process for your scenario. So this is totally up to you that based on your scenario, you can select the method to assign access rights. The first way to assign access right is direct assignment. In direct assignment, the resource owner directly assigns the user to the resources. Second is group assignment. In group assignment, the resource owner assigns a Microsoft Entra group to the resource, which automatically gives all of the group members access to the resource. Group membership is managed by both the group owner and the resource owner, letting either owner add or remove members from the group. Third one is rule-based assignment. In rule-based assignment, the resource owner creates a group and uses a rule to define which users are assigned to a specific resource. The rule is based on attributes that are assigned to individual users. Like users department, users country or region 
a user's CT. The resource owner manages the rule determining which attributes and values are required to allow access to the resource. Last one is external authority assignment. In external authority assignment, access comes from an external source such as an on-premises Active Directory or a SaaS application. In this situation, the resource owner assign a group to provide access to the resource and then the external source manage the group members. Using these four methods, we can assign access rights on Microsoft Entra resources. In upcoming video, we will explore this topic in details with practical examples. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the point we discuss in the video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.